Anyone that has tried to make something structured and industrialize it and commoditize it is going to have an issue with that chaos, right? And in fact, most of the reluctance that happens is still within the workforce in terms of how people are not using social networking tools is because of that, because social networks introduce unstructured, chaotic situations, right? Um, and the people don't feel comfortable about them because they don't know where it is, what to do. And, and the thing that I keep telling them is that it's not, this is not about feeling comfortable. This is about how well do you adjust and adapt to living in chaos, right? Chaos can be a wonderful thing. If you kind of like help it channel through the energy to solve whatever the business problem you're trying to solve, right? I think that, I think that one of the things that we need to understand as well as knowledge workers is that we live in a world of uncertainty and a world of complexity, right? So how we're going to make sense of it is going to be by how much well we understand to solve problems in a chaotic situation, right? And how in this case social networks are going to help us become very efficient in terms of uh, having that, those flows of knowledge and information to make better decisions as a group, right? You know, we're going, we're going from an environment where we used to work as individuals and we were capable of doing our work alone, right? In our own little cubicles and, you know, we just had our email and instant messaging or whatever else and we could do our work. But, you know, fast forward 10, 15 years later, it's impossible today for a knowledge worker to do their work alone. They always need someone else, whether it's in the same building, in the same country, in the same geography, or whatever other country, whatever other geography. We cannot do that. So one of the things that is happening is that we need to understand that that uh, complexity is there, and that um, that uncertainty is what's going to regulate how we do business. And whoever adapts the first fastest is the one who's going to win it, because the, acceler the pace of, of acceler or the acceleration of that pace of change is going to be so high, it is already so high, that people won't even be given the chance to just figure out what's going on, right? And that's going to be, what, that's going to be one of the issues in terms of how willing will managers be to let it go, you know, to relinquish control, to eventually dive into that chaos and learn and contribute and make sense of what's happening around them by how they interact with other people.